Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a case slit. It says that there are six ladies and their annual incomes are given and uh, they save a different percentage of uh, their annual income and these are the percentage and invest that in different scheme. So schemes are stocks, PPF, mutual funds, Forex, NPS and crypto and uh, these are in random order. Okay. So we need to uh, using the given conditions, we need to find out who invest, how much money in uh, which uh, scheme and accordingly answer the questions. Okay. So we have these six ladies, we can call them G, H, I, J, K and L. Okay. We have to find their income, we have to map their income, we have to find their saving percentage. Accordingly, we can find that how much do they save and then we have to find the uh, scheme in which they invest. Okay. So let us directly uh, use the statement which directly gives us some information like Ishani saves 25%. Okay. And uh, Hina invests in NPS. So Hina is in NPS and Ishani saves 25%. We do not know how much does she earn. Okay. 40% uh, does not invest in PPA. We'll come to it later. Uh, the lady who earns the highest saves 5.6 6 lakhs and invests in Forex. Okay, so highest is 16. And in 16, if a person is saving 5.6, so 5.6 by 16 is 16, 3 is a 48 and 585. So 35%. So 16 lakh, 35% and Forex is a pair. Okay, now it, it may go with any of these persons, we do not know yet. Okay, so income of Kavya is the least among the six. So her income is three lakhs. Okay, and uh, she saves one twelfth of the amount saved by the lady who invests in mutual fund. Okay, so we'll have to <coughs> use these. Now, let us read this statement. So it says that uh, uh, the... Uh, the average of the annual incomes of Geeta, Hina and Jyoti is 6 lakhs, right? So average income is 6. Now, if you see the values, only 3 values give you 18 as the sum. If we take 4, 6 and 8. 4, 6, 8, that is the only possibility we can get 18. That is the average of 6. So, Geeta, Hina, Jyoti. So that will be 4, 6, 8 in no particular order. We, if you see the values, you do not get any other possibility. Okay, so these are the three people, four, six, eight. Now, this means that uh, uh, G, H, and J, right? So they cannot be the highest earners. Okay, Ishani cannot be the highest earner because uh, it is saving, she is saving 25%, right? So highest earner saves 35%. G, H, and J cannot be the highest earners. Ishani cannot be the highest earner, so highest earner will be uh, Lekha. Okay, so she earns 16 lakhs and saves 35 percent, that is 5.6 lakhs, and invests in Forex. Okay, so that is uh, one thing that is done. Okay, now GHJ we said that 468, okay, so 468, one is three, so 16 is done. 468, we know that they can be in any order, we will find out later. 3 is already filled. Okay, so remaining is 10. So Ishani is 10 lakh income and she saves 2.5 lakhs. Okay, now investment uh, we do not know. We'll get to it later. Okay, all right. Now let us uh, let us cut these also 25% and 35% that are done. Okay, uh, this we have figured out. The annual income of Kavya is the least that we know. She saves one twelfth of the amount saved by the lady who invests in mutual fund. Okay. So whoever is the lady investing in mutual fund, we are not worried about it. This part is important. Okay. So uh, now see this. So Kavya can save 10%, 20%, 40%. So let us see that what if she saves 10%, right? Suppose she saves 10%. Her saving will be 0.3 lakhs. Okay, and that uh, the lady of investing in mutual funds, she must be saving 3.6 lakhs, isn't it? So if she saves 20%, right, her saving will be 0.6 and lady investing in mutual fund will be saving 7.2 lakhs. Okay, now if we take 40%, if suppose Kavya saves 40%, she will be saving 1.2 lakhs 
and lady investing in mutual funds must be saving 14.4 12 times of this okay now see highest income is 16 lakh that person is saving 5.6 a 10 lakh person cannot save 14.4 not possible okay similarly for this also this looks very high ki agar if uh, even if you take 10 lakh so 72 percent is no one saving 8 lakh no one is saving 90 percent of income okay so 6 lakh not possible so the only possibility that we get in this case is this that kavya saves 10 percent that is 0.3 lakhs and the lady investing in mutual fund will save 3.6 lakhs right so there's a person who saves 3.6 lakhs in mutual funds okay so uh, we will have to find out who that person is but let us also find out that what could be the possible income of that lady okay so 10 percent is now gone so 20 percent giving 3.6 goes with 18 not possible 40 percent with 90 so 60 percent should go with 6 lakh 6 and 60 will make 3.6 lakhs right so there is a lady who earns 6 lakhs saves 60 percent and saves 3.6 lakhs in mutual funds okay now who that lady is that could be either g or that could be j so there are two possibilities for that lady because hina invests in nps right so hina cannot be that lady that lady can be Gita or that can be uh, jyoti okay all right so this is also done now four and eight are left here and we are left with 40 percent and 20 percent of this right so uh, this is also utilized this we are yet to find out okay now we have uh, we have the next thing that is coming up is the sum of the annual incomes of the lady who invests in stocks and the lady who saves 20 percent right is equal to the sum of the annual incomes of Gita and the lady who saves 60 percent now whenever we have and right invest in stocks and the lady who saves 20 percent that means these are different people okay agar same people hote, we do not use and for them similarly annual incomes of Gita and the lady who saves 60 percent they have to be different people so that means Gita cannot save 60 percent okay so whenever we say and this and that right that means there are two different people okay so Gita does not save 60 percent so we were we were trying to find out who there is a person among Gita and Jyoti who saves sixty percent. So Jyoti is that lady who earns six lakhs, okay, and uh, she uh, invests uh, she saves sixty percent. That is three point six lakh is saving, and that is in mutual funds. Okay, so this is also done. Now uh, we are left with uh, Gita and there is a person who uh, invests in stock, right? So Gita and investor in stock and uh, no stock and 20% is equal to Gita and this. Okay. So Gita can be now we are left with uh, we know six also. So Gita can be four or eight. Now if we take Gita four, right? Suppose we take Gita four and the lady who saves 60% is six. So four plus six is equal to 10. Okay. If we take 10, now we have to find two, two ladies investing in stock and save 20 percent that let's not worry about the who the people are let us find two numbers that add to 10 from these numbers okay so if we take Gita 4 and this 6 so this will be 10 and uh, so this obviously would come as 8 now we do not uh, have any two numbers adding up to 10 okay if we take 4 and 6 that none of the other numbers add to 10 so that means Gita 4 is not possible Okay, so which means that Gita will be 8. If Gita is 8, and this is 6 for sure, right? Because uh, this uh, lady who saves 60% is 6 lakhs. Okay, so 8 plus 6 is 14. Can we get 14 else? Yes, we can get 4 plus 10, 14. Isn't it? 4 plus 10 is also 14. So that means this means that 14 lakhs is the total of these two cases so Gita will be 8 lakhs and uh, one lady is investing in stock and the lady who is saving 20 percent right so 4 plus 10 is 14 okay now this lady is already investing in uh, this lady is saving 25 percent right so these have to be two different people 
so 25 percent wali hai so this will be the person invest this is the person who saves 20 percent that is h and invest in stock must be i okay so this this lady invest in stocks okay so four ka 20 percent that is 0.8 or 80,000 we can say and now we have uh, everything filled out. So this will be Gita. 40% I think is the remaining one. Okay. And 40% that is 3.2 lakhs. And we have to find two uh, schemes are left. Like stocks is done. Uh, PPF is left. And uh, crypto is left. Okay. So 40% does not invest in PPF. So she does not invest in PPF. So Kavya will invest in PPF and she will invest in crypto. Okay. So the first question is how much does Kavya save? So Kavya saves. Now see the answer should be 30,000. Do not like if it's a theta question, do not type like 0.3 because this is in lakhs. So, Kavya saves 30,000. Okay. What percent of her salary does Geeta save? So, Geeta saves 40% of her salary. Okay. In which scheme does Ishani invest? Ishani invests in stocks. And what is the total saving of the six ladies put together? Total we just add that is 4, 6.5, 10.1, uh, 10.4, 16. Right. So, 16 lakhs. So, do not write 16 as the answer. Okay, so always remember this thing. If it's a theta question in the examination, make sure that you write the units properly. If it the question was, what was the total savings in lakhs was given in the brackets here. In that case, write 16. But if it is not given, then you should write 16 lakhs completely. Okay, for example, in this case also, you should write like 0.3. Okay, so that is 30,000. So that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.